And unfortunately, you know, soon will be the day of the independence. Yeah, fortunately, <laughs> happily, you know, we have their independence day, but at the same time, unfortunately, you know, the Russian uh, also prepared for this day in a worse way, you know, and yeah, we're really afraid of quite lots of missiles, you know, which can uh, be in the Ukrainian territory. Um, thank you, guys. So that's why, you know, all of us, we are a bit like confused and at the same time, yeah, uh, a bit afraid of all these things. No. And the day you alive is good, yeah. <laughs> That's great. By the way, you know, the life is, I believe, the main priority. So each day, you know, when I get up and yeah, I'm alive and I'm happy, you know, at the same time, you know, I have my relatives, my closest people with me. So it, ma it makes me real feel special because, you know, like, I know that I'm not alone. So, like, you know, the, the war really changed the values. I talked with you about this, like, this early morning. Uh, daughters, yeah, I know this story, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, okay, I believe, you know, she's alive. But the way, you know, like, I worked in special, you know, like, organizations, you know, and with a high percent, you know, I can tell you that uh, the daughter of the Putin's advisor is alive. So that was, like, fake, fake killing of this daughter. So if you're afraid of, of this girl, yeah, she's alive. I, I'm not sure she's in Russia, I believe she's far away, but yeah, I believe that is fake, fake death. Uh, the world is wrong, you shouldn't feel this way, yeah. Hi. Hello, Canadian. Hi, guy there. Yeah, I'm not alone, thanks to you also, yeah. So, for me, it's difficult, you know, to explain all the things, but, you know, I'm enough experienced, you know, to, to see some... Um, some accidents, you know, and I can easily tell you, like, is the real person, you know, it was there or some other person, or, you know, or maybe it was, like, standard, you know, like, accident. So, according to all the details, you know, I read on the news, you know, I can easily recognize that the daughter of this, like, Putin's advisor is alive, and she didn't was in this, like, car. That's all. But, you know, like, let, let's, it will be our private talk, you know. I know that I'm talking in the live streaming, so, you know, some <laughs> some Russians also watching me. So, uh, that's why, you know, I don't want somehow, you know, to make any problems for me later. Um, hi, Shan. Good evening to you. Hello, guys. So, let's change the topic to someone else. Just, yeah. So, it will be better. Yeah, everything's perfect. So, luckily, you know, the Maria is was really perfect day for me. Thank you, yeah. <laughs> trying my best, really. Really trying my best. Uh, thank you for likes. Thank you. Hello. Hi, David. How are you today? I'm perfect. Oh, you see? Quite lots of people watching me. Yeah, I'm okay. So the Mario was quite a positive day for me. You know, I did quite lots of things I planned. So tomorrow also I'm planning the productive day. The same time I'm planning to uh, leave Kiev for these days because it's super dangerous, you know, to stay, uh, especially on these holidays. Uh, so I will relocate tomorrow, early morning. Yeah, that's that's logically because of all these things. Um, yeah, thank you, thank you. Yeah, so at the same time, you know, uh, quite lots of people who live in Kiev also planning to leave Kiev for these days because, you know, like no one knows what generally in the brains of the Russians and generally what they're planning to do next. So no one knows this and yeah, that is really like difficult. Yeah, thank you. Cheers. Hello. Hi guys, please don't forget about the likes. So tap the screen and send the likes. It helps me a bit with the boosting of the live stream in the end. Of course, you know, I'm super grateful and thankful to you. Thank you, Andrush. Thank you, Andrush. Works are too unpredictable. Yeah, the reason, you know, why generally I'm planning to relocate because of my safety, that's uh, that the safety is my priority. And at the same time, yeah, the Russians are really unpredictable. And of course, they also... Uh, prepared for this for the Ukrainian independent day yeah and unfortunately the risk of the missiles and the risk of any extraordinary accidents are super high so that's why you no know, logically to say uh yeah the situation is really super unpredictable hello and the blessed night thank you so much thank you thank you for rose
thank you. Hi, Harry. Hello. Hello, guys. Yeah, so I'm explaining just for the my safety. Yeah, I'm planning to relocate for these days because you know the situation will be super unpredictable this week. And yeah, so not only me, but like around let's say 20 30 percent of people who live in Kiev planning to relocate for these days because yeah, really everything is super unpredictable for these days. So if you know any black people in, in Ukraine, so kindly ask him, you know, uh, them not to ignore the air siren because yeah. Everything will be super unpredictable. Uh, got any idea where you're going to go? Uh, I'm planning to go a bit far from Kiev region, so I will not prove my location, but it will be like around 200 meters, 200 uh, kilometers far. Yeah, I will take all paperwork, the notebook, the money, everything. So I must be super prepared because as I told, so the Russians are so unpredictable people. And of course, they also prepared already for the Independence Day. So tomorrow will be the day of uh, the Ukrainian flag. Uh, and yeah, the next day it will be the day of uh, independence. So both days are a celebration, you know, and of course, the Russians also know this and they're planning somehow to make the revenge. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Yeah, I also believe that everything will be perfect. You know, I'm praying for the best, really. Uh, but of course, you know, I need to be careful and not to ignore, you know, the air sign. At the same time, for the, my safety, I believe it's better to relocate. Because, yeah, the risk is super high, unfortunately. And that's why, you know, also if you know any, like, friends or any, like, people who live in Ukraine, so kindly ask them, you know, not to ignore the air siren, firstly. And secondly, if they live in the big cities like, I don't know, Odessa, Mykolaiv, uh, Kyiv, Kharkiv, uh, Lviv. So it's better to relocate to any other safe area because the risk is really huge, unfortunately, yeah. And yeah, the situation will be super unpredictable. So just for the safety of your friends, so just kindly ask to explain him that all this risk, you know, and somehow to convince them to relocate to any like small town, I don't know, villages, any spa centers, anywhere, but just far away from the big cities, you know, where, far away from the plants, any military base, because yeah, guys, let's be real, the risk is super high these times, yeah. Um, thank you. So let's talk about anything more positive because yeah, so I talked like around three, five minutes about uh, the risk for these days, but still, you know, like, uh, I believe it's better to talk about the risk and maybe you will, um, will also explain this to your friends, to your Ukrainian friends. I believe it will be much better. Afternoon. Hello. Safe comes first. Yeah. Hi, Brazil. But honestly, had the most beautiful flag. Thank you. Not me, but the Ukraine, so please. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I will check the emails, yeah. I remember about the emails, I checked it, so I will I will also, you know, relook it a bit later. So no problem with this, yeah, I will relook my email for sure. So these days, you know, I help my mom with, uh, with the guests of our hotel because, you know, quite lots